So hello and welcome to the computer lab. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at the key light by Elgato. I know I'm a bit behind on reviewing this, uh, but I'm trying to pick things up with my channel and trying to get videos going a bit better. This video is going to be filmed in 4K. So if you've got a 4K screen, hopefully that'll be better for you so you can see more detail. Uh, and also just trying to ramp things up with my channel and obviously get the subscribers up. Uh, so this is the first video from this new format, normally from the camera down and hands only. Uh, this is obviously a bit more personal and uh, a new setup for me. So we're going to be looking at the Elgato key light anyway. So we'll get into this and let's have a look. Okay, so let's get this thing unboxed. Obviously, we're not being the camera down. You don't get as much detail in there, but hopefully it'll still be okay. Anywhere that I can put... Uh, detailing with a, a small snapshot I will put that to the side of the image uh, when you're watching it back so hopefully that'll be okay so let's get this box opened and see what we get for our money so I'm in the UK so this is probably I think it's about 160 pound mark something like that and looking at the side of the box it is uh, LED and it's rated in the A ratings it's app enabled, which is important for me because I have the Stream Deck, uh, which is on a PC over that side, uh, my editing PC. So I did want to control this light from there. Uh, so it, it is app enabled. You can do it from your phone, I believe. And again, if this video doesn't end up too long, I will put the um, control in this uh, particular light through the Stream Deck and also the uh, app. Uh, it's got 2,800 lumens, it's bright and dimmable, and it's got the warm and cold look, so you can go from a, white, a really uh, bright white light to sort of an orangey hue. Uh, adjustable colour, which is it's saying there, colour, call through, um, warm to white. Space-saving metal design. Let's see if we can get it out of the box. I'm going to be using it in the app as well so that is all good to know uh, and there's some destruction so you get a big instruction card and we can make it out on the camera like I said this is news this set up to me but you can see the card there so it comes with um, obviously some instructions there which me being a bloke I will not look at but there is some instructions on installing software tells you how to put the screw light on but I think we'll get in and just have a look and see what it's what we get uh, so like I say, I'm a bit late to this party with this one. Uh, there is some uh, guys on YouTube that have already done full reviews of this product. I've not looked at the reviews in that much. I did look at them briefly to see if it was worth the money. And lots of the guys are saying, yes, it is. Uh, you can get similar setups by uh, buying a couple of lights off Amazon or something like that. Uh, but I'm in the Elgato ecosystem as it would be already. So uh, that's why I've gone for it. So usual bits of packing material. You get the light itself. So usual stuff on the back, uh, just a, looks like part of the transformer or something like that. Oh, I don't think it is transformer because there's a separate transformer. So unless it's just, uh, anyway, uh, it's saying this bit might co uh, we get hot. So it's got the air slots on the back. You've got a small rocker switch on the bottom where you can switch it on or off and also a reset to the right. And you've also got uh, the 13 volt, four amp um, transformer port on the underside here. So nice and weighty feel to it. It's also got, um, for the guys, the camera guys out there, it's got the four mounts on the side, so you can use it with your, uh, or if you've got some sort of mounting system, so I have, just handily. Uh, this is a Jobby, uh, which I uh, use for mounting my GoPro and the Canon M50 uh, when I'm doing different shoots. Uh, and it's the same thread uh, on the bottom and the sides as it is for the camera. So if you want to use that as your mount, if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, that's the key light itself. Get rid of the packaging. What else do you get in the box? So you get the uh, the telescopic arm mount. So how does that go? Oh, so they're just on small lock nuts, as you can see there, and lock nice and on. So they're nice feel to them. Feels like a nice metal, heavy construction usual clamp which you get with this type of product um, and again if you're camera guys you'll be used to this sort of clamp uh, but this clamps around the, uh, the desk so for my sample here i'll probably be it's not going to be mounted here but if i just mount it here just for this uh, particular video what 
probably mount it just to the right and have it hanging over my um, shot down bench as it would be. Really sturdy clamp, feels good. Nice and solid, so not much vibration. What else to get in the box? Nothing else in the box, all just packaging. So you get, what's in here? Okay, so this is the transformer box. And you get the transformer, and as with most of these things uh, now, um, they supply all the different sockets for depending on where you are in the world. Uh, so obviously I'm in the UK, so I'm a free pin. But you do get all the European and the American plugs as well in there. And you also get a small rubber mount, which it looks like it possibly goes onto the there. Uh, so I'm presuming if you wanted to use this for your camera, you could use that and mount your camera onto the actual uh, spindle as, itself as well. Which is good that they put that in. At least you can utilise the uh, the mount for other diff for different things. Um, so yeah, so we'll get the camera mounted up. So I'm presuming you screw this out here. This is just like a ball joint, so it moves around on the ball itself. And again, I'll probably do a close up of this uh, just to see if we can. So you can see these things in detail. So we'll get rid of the other sockets and let's have a look at the power supply. So this, these normally slot in sort of down and up. It looks like it's a circular mounting one, which it is, clicks in. And then you get, a, um, obviously looks like a fair bit of lead. So we'll see how much lead you get. So this table's about 1.2 meters long, so let's get it all the way out. So about two and a half meters worth of power cord which is great, so plenty of plenty of length if you're depending on what your setup is, so plug it in, plug in at the power supply, and let's get the lead over here, and let's get the screw in, and we'll get this mounted and see what we've, let's see how it feels when it's mounted in. So the only thing I'd say there, I mean that screw's in nice, it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, but you think it have just a couple of flats on there maybe to nip it up and possibly they haven't done that so you don't over tighten this this thread here but anyway hopefully it's not going anywhere but uh, we'll see and then that just goes into your ball joint and then you tighten up the ball joint on here so this ball joint allows you to swivel it uh, across the different axes so nice and solid once it's on like I said, from my point, I probably need another a separate arm so I can sort of have it at this angle. This one doesn't give you that option. And again, this is the Elgato ecosystem where they getting you to buy into these, um, into the range really. So once you start with this ecosystem, you're sort of buying the other bits and pieces uh, to make to make your um, to set up up or whatever it be. So I'm just seeing if it locks. I don't want to lock in that. Well, it does if you tighten it up tight enough. Um, so. It might be a bit too bright for the camera if I push it there, but if I point it upwards, I won't fall. I'm just going to keep it away from the camera because it'll obscure the camera. So I'll put that in there. In fact, let's put the power supply in before we do anything else. Put the power in. Let's nip it up. Put the power socket on. And then switch on the power. And that is bright. Now I'm wondering if, um, oh there it's come on. I did say something on the instructions about giving it um, a couple of seconds to warm up. But that's a real nice light. I don't know if I can shout out the camera without it, obviously without it blaring out the camera. But you can see there, hopefully that's not blaring it too much on the footage. Uh, but yeah, you can see, nice light, elongated. You can take it up and down on these arms here. Like so. And you've got double height, so if that was lower down, I mean, I'm never probably going to expand it fully out with the length here. And what I didn't do is measure the length for this uh, telescopic stand, which I will do just now in a second. Um, but yeah, really nice, well built, sturdy light. So if I'm going to be doing this, um, so for example, if you're using it for a face on, let me just lower the light down a bit. I'll just switch it off a second. And 
put it to the side of the shot. Well, let's get it spun round. Oh, this is obviously going to glare glare at me, I think, but uh, I'll see what it does. Now, it, if it improves. And anyway, you see there straight away, I mean, it lights me up probably too much because I've already got quite a lot of light coming down on me. Um, so, but it's not, it's really well done actually. It's not, if you had that on top of your monitor and looking at you, it's not off putting, it's bright, yes, uh, but really good light. I think the last thing to do is just measure the, uh, the telescopic stand. So, I'm impressed with the light coming off that. Uh, and like I say, if we get, I'll put the app on and we'll have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at the length and what we've got. So this is it fully collapsed and to the top of your desk, to the end of the knuckle, about 20 inch. Uh, so that's it fully retracted, uh, 20 inch or 50 centimeters. And expand it out. What have we got to the knuckle? Uh, it's about 45 inch uh, to uh, about 115 centimeters, so 115 centimeters. Uh, so yeah, really good range on it. Nice sturdy built. Small locking nuts as you adjust the telescopic there. Really secure, all metal construction. Clamps around your desk, desk really well. I like it. Okay, so downloaded the app and this is the first page that we're presented with. So make sure the accessory is connected to power. You need to connect the new accessories with your Wi-Fi network first. So from the home screen, go to settings, Wi-Fi, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on, select the accessory from the, available net, uh, from the available networks and wait until connected, then come back to the center. So let's get it switched on. So it does this blink, I think, an initial startup. So there we go, so we're on. Okay, so let's, so let's go into settings. go into my Wi-Fi and hopefully we should see this light. So there it is. So I'll set up a new device, Elgato Keylight 38 dB. So let's go with that. Elgato Light, I'll just leave it like that. It's gonna to connect to my Wi-Fi network. There we go, set up complete. The accessory has joined Wirecroft, which is my network. So now, if I go back into control center. Okay, so we're up and running. So let's put something so you maybe hopefully be able to pick that him up on camera. Like so. Now, but you can change the actual lights and the color of the lights. So if I put my arm under as well, and you'll be able to hopefully see the different. So you can do the brightness. So that's it, obviously it's full looming. You can control this all via the app. And you can also do it warmer. So it goes like this orangey hue, or you can go to the really bright white light if I turn that right up. So that's the bright white light. And then you go to the orange and that's a full brightness. And there's also a couple of other things looking at the app here. You can turn it off in the app and like so, it turns the light off. You turn it back on, turn it back on. Obviously you can change the colors, put it a bit warmer so it doesn't blare the camera out. And you've also got a settings page uh, and here you can add new accessories you can link accessory controls, which, which is what we we're just talking about. And you've also got some information tab just to the, to the right there. So you've got power on behavior, restore last use setting or restore defaults when it powers on. Then also if you've got multiple of these lights, then you can do the identify accessory. And if you had multiple of the lights going around, it'd flash which one that you're controlling at the time. So they've really thought about it and made the ease of use really good. Overall, would I recommend it? Almost certainly. I think um, going forward, when I do some of my uh, camera down um, shots, then obviously I'll know better because then I'll know if it's lighting it up. Okay, so that is the end of the video and that's my look at the Elgato Key Light. So if you liked the video, please do give us a thumbs up below and if you didn't like it, uh, you know what to do. Also, please do hit me up with any comments below. They are always appreciated. Please do subscribe to my channel and also if you're feeling generous, please head over to my Patreon account. I don't have any Patreons for my channel yet, uh, but that's not to say why I shouldn't mention it and please do head over there if you want to support this channel more. Uh, thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.